Hey guys, my name is Lucas. I am from Brazil, and I want to tell you a little bit of my experience with Living Hope in the last few years. Back in 2017, I remember this team from the Isle of Man came to my church in Brazil, Estação 337, as a 412 mission trip. I got talking to one of Living Hope's leaders, and he shared with me about this Year of Your Life program that they had, this internship. I felt after the conversation I needed to look a bit more into this. So I went home on that day and I searched on Google a few things about the Isle of Man and Living Hope. Google only gave me pictures of the island in summer. So I thought, tropical island, hot weather, who doesn't want to be in a place like that the whole year? It's a yes. I also searched on Google the people who had done Year of Your Life in the past. I saw how they were literally transformed. It was a second yes for me to go. I felt God calling me to apply, so I did. I got accepted in 2018 and arrived on the island in high winter. The first thing I realized was that no, the island is not tropical the whole year round because I was freezing cold like never before. I have to say though, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. You might remember I was the long hair down to my chest, dude crazy, couldn't speak English that well. Some of my friends used to say that I spoke more with my hands than with my mouth. It worked. God did so much in my life, in my time with Living Hope. One of the things that really impacted me was the love that the families and especially my hosts had to give. It was incredible to see how they didn't know anything from my past, yet they just gave me so much love. Trying to find a reason for why they would do that. The only conclusion I could get was that they loved God so much and therefore loved me so much. I had so many moments during my time with Living Hope that changed my heart and my character. But one very important one happened in 2018 in the middle of the year. The men in the church gathered to do a three-day walk camping at night called The Way. And the interesting thing about this walk is that As you walk day after day, your body feels really weak. But because you're surrounded by godly men encouraging you, your spirit feels strong. And on the last day, we gathered to worship the Lord. And it was incredible because our spirits were connected to one another's and with God. And our flesh was just not getting in the way because it was so weak. I broke so many things on that day of the past, of sin, of anger, of of sadness I had. I heard God saying a few things to me on that day. One of them was that I needed to apply for a second year with Living Hope, which I did in 2019. The second thing was that I felt to pray, saying to God, I am never going back to my old ways, to the way I used to live. I am living with and for you all the days of my life. And that's exactly what I have been doing since then. Something that I started to do every day was spend time with God in the mornings and at night. And I can say that to this day, this has been the source of my joy and peace. I remember asking one of my leaders in Living Hope before coming back to Brazil, what should I do? What decisions should I make? What do you think I should study? Those kind of questions. And his answer was, Lucas, it doesn't matter what you do, just make sure you do it for Jesus. At the time, I thought to myself, I don't want to spend energy thinking of what he means by this. I just want a straight answer, like what should I do? But I can say he was right and I get it now. Everything that I do is for and with Jesus. Today, I'm back in my home country in Brazil. I am at university studying engineering and I am using the gifts that came alive in me to serve my church here. I can tell you so many stories of how God has used me to share his love and his gospel to people in my neighborhood, in my church, in my country. So I would love if you guys could pray that God gives me boldness and joy to keep on sharing this because I have a passion to share Jesus with strangers, with people that don't know Jesus yet. I miss you. You have a special part in my heart.